Hey guys, it's Girl Cherry Coco coming at you with another video. <sighs> what is it this week? <laughs> Episode 7. If this week had a theme, which I guess they all do, but my theme for this week is tacky, tacky, tacky. <sighs> Let's begin. I want to start off by saying that I believe I called it if you go back to my last video I did call it chrysanthemum did go home I saw that coming um don't really think it was fair but I mean it is what it is um a choice between her and Liz I mean she really didn't seem like she was ready to love I mean some of the things that she said about the kids and all that is like you want to show with a bunch of brothers who have children or who wants to have children and you kind of do come off as a party girl and I did and I didn't say that last week I was trying to give her the benefit of the doubt maybe because I was just not feeling the cattiness of her and Alexis but she did not present herself well or it might just be the way the producers shifted the show i don't know but back to the theme tacky 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 number one was the two days and i wrote i wrote everything down if y'all see me looking down it's because um i actually took notes on on this one but the two dates at once that was tacky it's like y'all couldn't have your friends meet them like at different times that was ugh. and it, i would have felt some kind of way if i have showed up like kyra and leah showing up at the same time like you could have scheduled me 45 minutes after her date to be honest i just thought that was tacky and i'm so shocked that tommy didn't say nothing during the lounge um that no, that's tacky. And I'm really curious as to what Tommy's wife would say about that. If I, as a woman, I'd be like, you know what? Do you want me to come back? Was this on purpose? I'm glad their date went really good. Um, the date, who was it? Jason. Jason, Kyra, and AJ. Glad it went well. The date with Alexis and <laughs> Chrysanthemum? Ooh. Um... Ron kind of should have knew better from what happened at the ball, the masquerade ball, and just like some conversations that they all had after that. He kind of should have knew that they should have probably been separate um, meetings with his friends. That was tacky. I'm surprised his friend Sneaky didn't put him to the side and be like, you might not want to do this. Not a good idea, you know. And it just doesn't give people enough of a chance to know the person because you asking the same person two different questions i mean it's just awkward that date was awkward and i think it i don't know not only was it just tacky alexis again with the cattiness it's like girl you could have just talked about what you and ron got going on and your connection with his friends you could have left everything about chrysanthemum out of it everything nothing you said about chrysanthemum had to be inputted into your confessional at all it was to me it was kind of like pointless i mean i don't know that i i don't like and that's why i've been saying from a couple of episodes ago she caddy just no no i'm sorry no another thing that was tacky and i just felt that was really immature was the way joelle kind of threw venetia under the bus I didn't think that was cool. I I don't know. No one actually came out with what happened over the phone um, or why he was so, why he switched up like that. Was it a knockdown drag out argument? Was it a deal breaker? Um, the fact that you, you know, said, you know, she's still baby. I don't know. I'm going to play a clip. The one you're going home with. Mm -mm, I'm gonna right, give you one more sip. Ahead. Drink that, yeah. <laughs> Joel. Ah. Mm. <laughs> Kyra. Kyra. I was flabbergasted. 
Renisha been your number one this whole time. What is you doing, baby? God. So, is you is or is you ain't? Honestly. <laughs> Even Chris had to be like, baby, what is you doing? It's like, she been your number one, your diehard, your, your, your love. And then all of a sudden, what I don't know. It just don't seem like, and I they didn't play the clip of the phone conversation or whatever, but it just don't seem like it was that deep to just really just jump ship and go with Kyra. From what I can remember, I don't remember them having any kind of like connection. Like I don't know. Maybe I, I'm tripping because it was always jo Joel and Vernicia, but. I'm confused. That was that was confusing. Another thing was confusing. I just don't think Ron also went hard enough for Liz. And for them to say she closed off was whatever, I have never seen that. Not on one episode. She has been very open in the fact that she hasn't had a real relationship. She's been very open about what she wants, what she needs. Now she's boring and closed off. I feel like a lot of peer pressure be in these lounges and nobody is really telling the truth. It's almost starting to feel kind of fake and phony when, you know, the guys and the girls are put into the lounge with Tommy. I really, really do. And I like Kyra and all. I really do. But not all of a sudden everybody on Kyra. Not that she a bad girl. I mean, she, you know, you know, perfect, very nice. But I don't know. It just seemed like, again, uh, the, what I said last episode, a mob mentality. Now it's Kyra, 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 Kyra. When all these guys who were seeing Kyra were seeing somebody else last week. And it's just like, I don't know. My predictions for next week, though. Let me see. So, Christanthia went home. <laughs> I think Ron is going to stay. Jason might be the one that's really on the chopping block, to be honest with you. I think Chris and Amber are going to go strong um, way to the end. <sighs> Joel, I don't know. I am going to predict it's either going to be Joel or it's going to be Jason. That's just me. I think AJ didn't slid himself in there pretty strong with Kyra. Not Jason, AJ. I think AJ didn't slid himself pretty well in there with Kyra. They look like a pretty good fit. And I think Alexis is still checking for him. So she might try to fight to keep AJ on. Um, even though Ron is probably her number one. Now, you know, but she was flipping last week too. Um, so I don't know. I think Ron and Jason are going to be the two that's going to be on the chopping block next week. We'll see. All right, so that is my review of episode seven. I will see you guys next week. But before I go, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.